So this is the setup as it is right now. There's the uh, SPI chip right there down there. Uh, it's connecting to the PIC microstick 2 pin configurations or this is the SDI, the SDO, pin number 4 is connected to ground and this is the clock line. The chip enable connects to pin number 7 or, or RB3 and the rest of the pins are on the uh, side of it. So everything is soldered on. I've broken it out and I'm gonna connect it to the oscilloscope to see uh, how the signals are going and how we are reading actually the temperature from that sensor board. All right, so now I've got uh, everything set up. This is the code. It's running, uh, configured the 18 as uh, DS1722. Uh, there's a function called read temperature and if you look inside the uh, function here, there it is. Uh, what it's supposed to do is it's supposed to put uh, 0, 01 on the I2 SPI bus, then read the lower byte and then the upper byte, and that's exactly what's happening. So it's putting up 0, 01 here, then reading the lower byte and the upper byte. You can see here it says exactly the same stuff. It's 1770, which is 17, and then 70 in hexadecimal. Now, if I blow on the temperature sensor, let me just. Uh, uh, hold it with a tweezer to see if I can make it uh, to make the temperature change a bit and uh, We should be able to see something change um, It should heat up. There we go. It's really going up and uh, Okay, so um, Zero zero a 80 and all these so you see the bits change here and corresponding with the hexadecimal value changes here so it's um, the if for example 80 it would be a one here and then all zeros here uh, key note here is that four bits on this for the lower nibble never changes because it's 80 80 is one zero 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 and so 70 is zero one 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 and then zero 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 um so these bits kind of change here and they reflect in this decode this is happening on the oscilloscope um the upper byte doesn't really change but the lower byte kind of just the, this this uh digit these four bits change and they reflect on that um another thing that i've changed for this particular project is that i've changed the um i'll look at let's look at the uh, configure SPI function. I've changed this from a from the prescaler from one to one to two is to one. Now, what the difference is if I set it to one to one again, and if I write it into the configuration, let's let the microcontroller write up again. Uh, now you can see that the biggest change here is that uh, this everything's gotten faster, twice as fast. So setting the prescaler to uh, one is to one makes everything faster. Doing a two is to one just makes it a slight bit slower. And I'm gonna do, and you can change this. And the reason why this is happening is because sometimes if your wires and cables and all those stuff don't really like the additional uh, lengths, so sometimes it may the values may not be. Uh, coming up correct so if that happens you change the prescaler up here and things will kind of get a little bit better i uh, hope you like uh, this video uh, you you can refer to this to look at the bits changing and the protocol kind of working for you i'll do a similar video for i2c as well so see you on the next other side thanks very much